Tonight, top EU stories from the unit website include Public support for EU membership is wafer thin, says David Cameron. EU lends energy hand to Poland. The European Union will collapse like Soviet Union, says Francis Le Pen, planning European far-right alliance. Anger at Albania's European Union plan, plus the EU seeks to standardise the flush on lavatories. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Public support in Britain for staying in the European Union is only wafer thin, David Cameron has said. The Prime Minister said he wanted to spend the time ahead of a possible in-out referendum in 2017 on getting Britain's consent for EU membership. He told business leaders at the CBI conference in London that one of the problems with the EU is that Britons voted in the 1970s to join a common market. Yet since then, the EU had expanded into a quasi-state, and the British public had never been asked if it agreed to remain a member. <sighs> At last, the gods must have spoken, the dawn has broken, and our inglorious leader, Chairman Cameron, has finally mustered the modicum of intelligence required to understand what the public's democratic rights are. However, here's a thought. Imagine if our leaders knew all along that they were handing over control and sovereignty to an external power. Well, that would be committing the crime of treason and a breach of the British Constitution. You might be surprised to know that Elizabeth contacted us yesterday and explained that in 12 regions across Britain, formal allegations of treason have been made to the UK police force and case numbers have been assigned. Folks, we have been usurped, attacked from within, deceived and lied to. We Britons have been cheated. They knew. We have the evidence in Foreign and Commonwealth Office Document 301048, and already there is mounting momentum to bring these rogue leaders to book. The European Commission said Wednesday it would help Poland update its energy sector and develop new natural gas pipelines. The Commission said a supporting package of $629 million for the Polish energy sector was in line with aid rules set by the European Union. The Commission has concluded that the project will further EU energy goals without unduly distorting competition in the internal market, it said in a statement. Now, I have a little saying. People always tell you what they're not. So when the EU says without unduly distorting the internal market... It means that it will absolutely distort the internal market. Now, it will be interesting to see how this ties in with the tussling over the Ukraine with Russia, and we'll keep watch to see what gas field developments get underway in Poland. The bottom line, the EU has an impending energy crisis. It's not going to speak of it, but that is what the Castor underground gas storage facility in the Mediterranean is about. And let's not forget the friction between the EU and Russian energy giant Gazprom. As always, we'll keep connecting the dots and keep you in the loop as things develop. France's far-right and anti-European leader Marianne Le Pen said the European Union will collapse the same way the Soviet Union did decades ago to make way for separate and prosperous independent nations. Le Pen's comments come as she tries to strike a pan-European alliance with other Eurosceptic parties across the continent to rock the upcoming EU parliamentary elections. The European Union, like the Soviet Union, is beyond repair, the 45-year-old told RFI Radio. It will collapse as the Soviet Union collapsed. Well, whatever your thoughts are on Marianne Le Pen, we believe that she is correct. I keep a watchful eye on global economic markets and there are three players operating as the supporting legs to the EU taxman's milking stool. The Bank of England, the Federal Reserve in the US and the European Central Bank. Well, every one of those banks is printing money. That means diluting the value of their currencies. Now, don't forget that the banks collude together. They do not operate in isolation. 
and they are interconnected via the bank of international settlements. So they are, of course, playing switcheroo with the money printing trick. The ECB has just tailed off a little, while the Fed continues at the same rate. But Mark Carney, the newly appointed governor of the Bank of England, has said he will expand the bank's balance sheet from four trillion pounds to nine trillion, as required to support the markets and economy. Another report shows that it requires printing of 18 euros to get one euro of GDP growth. Now anyone can do the maths on that. And as soon as the bond markets start getting shaky over buying up any more bad debt, then the whole Ponzi scheme is going to collapse quicker than World Trade Center Seven. Watch your backs, folks. Collapse is coming. A report from the European Commission recommended the poverty-stricken Balkan state for candidate status as a potential new recruit to the EU. Although the application process is expected to take years, the move could eventually mean all of Albania's 3.1 million citizens getting the right to settle anywhere in the EU, including Britain. So, folks, have you had enough yet? Perhaps you feel that we have enough schools, houses, jobs, welfare, and social benefits to welcome all comers. Certainly, the government seems to act like it has the proverbial infinite basket of fish and loaves. But what do you think? Write in. And let us know. Peter Simmons highlighted this story for us and sent me a link via Twitter. The European Union will next week unveil new rules to standardise the flush on lavatories, despite the admission that there are very significant variations on flushing habits across Europe, including cultural aspects. Plans for the harmonised Euro flush will be tabled by the European Commission as part of an eco label, acting as a gold standard for officially approved lavatories aimed at cutting water use. Martin Callanan, MEP, the leader of the Conservative bloc in the European Parliament and Tory spokesman on EU environment measures, condemned the proposals. Well, I nearly fell off my chair when I read this. And it's a good job I don't work in the European Parliament, and perhaps an even better job that I'm not standing as an MEP, because I would have no choice but to grab the nearest kleptocratic bureau moron firmly by the throat and flush his or her head, and more than once, just for good measure. Today in our video library. When I look at all the different stories that come across my desk in isolation, there seems to be no rhyme or reason to so much of this regulation. Crazy toilet flushing rules and ever-growing expansion, picking up waif and stray nations whose economies are destroyed, wild ethnic engineering, mixing cultures en masse. Of course, the compliance by our own politicians who try desperately to provide reasoned political statements for policies that just make no sense and appear to have no benefit to the British public. For example, selling the post office at one third market value when it just started making a profit for UK taxpayers. In this film, the message is clear: Great Britain is being dismantled. The vision and agenda of our own politicians and those in Europe is the creation of a single federal superstate. With one flag, one parliament, one anthem, this will be the superstate of Europe. I've heard all the arguments about uniting the people of Europe, and I agree, but this model has no such intent. We are all being lied to. This new superstate will be a tyranny, controlled from above by a small number of political elites appointed to power from within, not elected by you or me. Under this new institution, you will be dominated. Your rights, and most importantly, your freedom, will be taken from you. Of course, you can continue to shut your front door, turn on the TV, and watch reality shows that watch people watching reality shows. You think I'm joking, right? Do a search on Google for Gogglebox. The people of Britain are being hypnotized and sedated, and whilst they are entranced by TV's Big Brother, their independence and wealth is being taken from them. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.